The creators of the internet expected that each user would have their own server, hosting their own homepage and email. The internet would thus be fully decentralized. Forward some 40 years, most users put their data at one of a few tech giants dominating the internet. They erected walls, so you cannot chat from Facebook Messenger to Apple Messages or share files between Dropbox and OneDrive. Nextcloud is fundamentally designed to put users in control over their data, like the original internet. But that does not mean users are disconnected from each other. At Nextcloud, we believe federation and decentralization are key to the future of an internet that's privacy-respecting, sovereign, and built with digital well-being in mind. For that reason, federated features have been available since the very first version of Nextcloud in 2016. Federation enables you to connect your own private Nextcloud with other Nextcloud servers around the world while maintaining control of your data. Share files throughout Nextcloud Hub using federated cloud sharing. This enables you to send files between Nextcloud servers from one user to another anywhere in the world using their federated cloud ID. Sharing files with another user is similar to sending an email, and the addresses look the same too. With email, you can send a message to any user of any service, whether hosted at a service like Gmail or Hotmail, or self-hosted mail with username, at, followed by their domain. This is familiar throughout all decentralized technologies. To share a file with a friend or colleague on another Nextcloud instance, enter their federated cloud ID, their username at their server address. Similar to sharing with users on your own Nextcloud, just with an extra address at the end. This allows data to be kept on the original Nextcloud server and shared as needed with users on a different Nextcloud server anywhere in the world. Besides sharing files between servers, you can also invite users from other servers to chats and calls in Nextcloud Talk. With Nextcloud Talks Federation, users from two or more organizations can collaborate using their own Nextcloud Hub interface from one server to another seamlessly through video calling and chat features. You can then chat and have video calls, and every participant can use the web interface, desktop, or mobile app from their own account and their own server. There is no need to hand out guest accounts or use public links, and the experience for users is entirely seamless. A federated chat shows up in the chat list, and you get notified of new messages, just like if a chat was on your own server. You can mention users, do a poll, or share files in the chat to work on together. Federation can be controlled in multiple ways, both by users and admins, giving you exactly the federation you want. For users, you can find your federated cloud ID in your Nextcloud Hub sharing settings. Easy. Share this with friends and colleagues when communicating and sharing files with other Nextclouders. For admins, the federated sharing settings give granular control over federated sharing permissions, whether federation is enabled or disabled, and more. Admins can also define trusted servers here, allowing these trusted servers to exchange account directories, facilitating federated activities even further by auto-completing external accounts throughout Nextcloud Hub. As always with Nextcloud, you're in control of your data, defining exactly the level of privacy you desire. These days, a few tech giants hoard gargantuan amounts of personal data, straying away from the original intention of what the internet could have become. To self-host your data and collaborate on your own terms, you can achieve this today when you choose Nextcloud. Choose regaining control over your data. Stop following the rules of the big tech companies and instead join us in our belief that federation and decentralization are key to the future of an internet that respects your privacy.